Ricky, I feel like we uh, I feel like we just saw you. So, uh, man, talk about this. Like, what, three and a half weeks or something like that. I mean, is it uh, challenging, fun? What's what's this quick turnaround like for you? Um, always a challenge, but more fun this time because I didn't have to get up eight or get beat up eight weeks to get here. So, <laughs> you know, it was, had a good fight with uh, Gaetano over in uh, Abu Dhabi, and then um, straight back home, straight back on schedule. Kept the diet going. This fight's at 145, so not as much of a struggle. And, uh, yeah, so it's just a little bit more fun this time. How did it come together? I mean, I know you guys had been talking about fighting for a long time, but, I mean, did you guys reach out to the UFC and say, let's get booked quickly, or did they just come to you? What happened? You know, we were supposed to fight a few times already, um, and I called them out right after that fight. And as I was heading back, my manager runs up to me, and he's like, three weeks, you want to do it? And I'm like, oh. I was like, all right. I don't know if I want to make 135 again. And then they said if it could be at 145. And I was like, all right, sign me up. Let's do this. Very nice. Obviously, the circumstances are understandable why it's at 45. Um, but is this something, like, you might want to explore in the future? Or does it feel kind of nice? Yeah, I mean, I feel strong. I, I've never felt another band of weight and was like, oh, man, this guy's stronger than me. So, um, But I, I think I have uh, height disadvantages at 145. So I, I think I'll continue to be the bully at 135. Um, if there's other 35ers that, um, you know, fights come up like this, uh, shorter notice, I, I mean, yeah, I'll do it at 45 anytime. Fair enough. As you said, you and Keller were supposed to fight a couple times, and then, you, you know, you mentioned his name last time. I think we, we asked you about him. So um, were you happy this was the matchup? I mean, was this a fight that you wanted, or did it even did it, did it matter? No, I, I'm getting tagged all the time uh, online. Uh, fans want to see this fight. Um, he's an exciting fighter. Um, I fancy myself an exciting fighter. So uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an awesome fight, and uh, we're early on the card on UFC Fight Pass. So um, it means uh, more time to drink some Modelo after. <laughs> I kind of wondered, like, the way you guys have been linked together, and y'all would have a little fun with each other in social media, right? So is it all good-spirited, or does it, does it kind of start to get on your nerves after a while? Does it like, do kind of start getting, like, angry at the guy, like, quit tagging me or something? Don't bug me none. Don't bug me none, but I'm, but I'm winning these exchanges, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. In my opinion. Um, I think a lot of people, as you said, I think the reason people want to see is it looks like it could be a fight of the night type fight. Do you feel that way? I mean, do you feel like this is going to be kind of a back and forth fight of the night type fight? Honestly, if uh, I decide, I don't, and I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but if I decide it's, it, it, it's going to be a fight of the night, it can be. But honestly, I feel like it's going to be a uh, performance of the night for me. Enough. That'd be a big statement for you. What are the goals this year, man? I mean, obviously, you know, you bounce back from the from the losses, and you got a couple of wins in a row now. What's I mean, what's what's the plan for you? I mean, uh, do, do you want? I mean, you want to come do it again in three weeks? Just stay out here in Vegas. What, what's the plan? <laughs> like I told you, I'm going to be uh, drinking some Modelos after this one for sure. Uh, I need to spend some time with my family because uh, I've been traveling nonstop this last like year, really. Um, but I, I, want, I want to be active this year. Last year, one fight did not cut it. Um, you know, I know it's been crazy for everybody with COVID and everything, but uh, I, I like to be active. I, li I like to stay on it. I like to stay on my training and, and, and make that money. So um, short, short time off and then right back at it, maybe four or five fights this year. Maybe 55 after a couple of models? <laughs> yeah, shit, maybe. <laughs> Does a, uh, does a fight take on a new meaning when it keeps getting rescheduled and postponed and stuff like that? Does it take on a new meaning inside your head? Um, not, not really. I mean, same thing. Same can't, we've been doing the same thing for this guy. I mean, I'm just getting kind of tired of seeing his bald head. I'm getting bald, man, so I don't really want to come in. Do you think, uh, do you think it's something fighters should be more willing to do, uh, just sort of agree to fight at a higher weight division if there's no real purpose to go down to the, to the lower weight class? Um, on short notice, on short notice, but I'm a bantam weight. Uh, there's something about making the weight, something about having to stay disciplined, um, something about going to bed hungry, um, that just drives me more. Um, and so, like I said, if it's like a shorter notice against another true bantam weight, then I'll do it. But um, other than that, no, I, I want to stay at my weight class and I will continue being the bully at 135 pounds. I'm sure once you're in the cage, it, you'll be disciplined. But is that something you have to stay, pay attention to on the way to the fight? You know, you're not cutting weight. You, like you said, you don't feel as hungry. Do you have to keep in mind, like, well, I still have a fight just because I don't feel like I usually do? Um, not, no, not really. Not really. I'm just, I'm just not as mad all this whole fight week. You know, I'm <laughs> just not, not a... It, there's always that little bit of dread when you cut that much weight. Um, and, and, you know, I, I'm spoiled now. I'm complaining, but I'm spoiled now with um, the UFC and trifecta and, 
and all these guys uh, that have her back with the with the meal prep leading up to the fight and then the rehydration after. So it's not as bad but anymore, but it still it still sucks. So the motivation doesn't leave or anything like that. I, I'm always hungry and I'm always gonna be mean once that once that uh, case door locks. Is it Modelo's only, or do we get some whiskey and vodka involved as well, or how does that look? Um, we'll start with Modelo, see where the night goes. I understand.